Okay, today I'm going to go over um, how to calculate the profitability index on Excel. So what the profit profitability index is, sometimes it's uh, abbreviated PI, is looking at a project, say a capital budget project, and you just want to see uh, is it going to be profitable to do this project or not. <clears throat> so uh, profitability index, uh, first you have to take all the cash flows you're going to get from your you're going to make an investment here in this one case you're going to make an investment at ten thousand dollars and over the next five years you're going to get these returns from that investment uh cost it cost you eight percent to borrow that ten thousand dollars so you want to see is this a profitable project so um first thing you do is you take all these cash flows and find the present value of those uh the easiest way to do that in excel is use something called the net present value here you go equals NPV and NPV in bold it asks for the rate, right? So I'm going to put rate and I'm going to do comma. The next thing it asks is for the values. Now, uh, you may or may not be familiar with an NPV formula, but the tricky thing with them, NPV, is it's kind of counterintuitive because the values you're going to pick are just starting with the first year. You don't use your zero, okay? So we're just going to pick these values and not pick your zero. And then you have to add back your zero outside of that. Okay. So NPV, I don't know why Excel has it that way, but it's a little bit counterintuitive, uh, especially like internal rate of return and modified internal rate of return. You would pick all the values, but NPV, you always start with your period one and then on. So that gives my our net present value. So the net present value in this case is a negative 307.23. That's telling you right away, if you just use this as your decision rule, since this is negative, it tells you you would not accept that project, okay? But doing the profitability index, the way you would calculate it, is you would take, um, you would take, uh, first of all, in the numerator, you would take, uh, uh, you're going to make the, what your first, your initial investment, you want to make that positive. So I'm going to make a negative that. So I'm going to say it's equal to, I forgot the equal sign, sorry. So it equals a negative 10,000, negative, negative 10,000, negative, negative, of course, that can make positive. And then I'm going to add this present value. And then I have to go ahead and divide it by, again, a negative this. Okay? So I basically have to make this 10,000 a positive number. And then we're going to go ahead and format this as a number. So the profitability index in this case is uh, 0.97. So the decision rule on a profitability index is if this is less than one, then you would accept, you would reject the project, right? If it's exactly one, the the project would be uh, would be uh, acceptable. So we could go here. Uh, I could do a, an if-then statement. I go equals if this is less than zero I would say reject if it's not I would accept okay and that gives me what you do in here I say equals if this is less than one I would reject otherwise accept okay so uh, that would be of course it tells you again reject because it's less than one now this is all dependent on your cost the cost to borrow this so if I say it cost me three percent to borrow it I'm gonna have a different answer right now this is greater than one and this is positive so I'd accept the project so it really depends on the percent here okay now the internal rate of return, internal rate of return, that's equal to the IRR. And then you just pick all your values here, right? And then take that a couple places. The internal rate of return of 7.86% or 6.81%. So that would be make this exactly one and then make this exactly zero. So if I go here, I go equals this, then 
and then this is exactly zero this is exactly one and let's take that in a couple places so that at that point that's what the internal rate of return is is when this is exactly zero but anyway this video was really just to calculate the profitability index i guess i digressed a little bit sorry about that but it only took five minutes of your time and so those, those are three three of the main well these two are actually the main ones you see Another one you see is a payback period, the discounted payback period, the modified internal rate of return. So those are three other ones you might see when you're doing a capital capital uh, project analysis. But that's all we're going to cover on this video. Hopefully that helps. Thank you. Bye.